Hey you guys, welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Elise. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and if you're not new then of course Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a soft glam makeup tutorial But of course in the true nature of my channel, we are making this an affordable drugstore version of a soft glam makeup look. I've been seeing these looks go around and around and around all over YouTube. I think it's because people are really trying to really define what soft glam means to them. To me, a soft glam look means something that is very comfortable for you, something that you run to anytime you have a specific event going on, something that you feel your prettiest or most confident in, using the colors that you feel the most pretty and the most confident in and the ones that you really feel like really compliment you. So you guys, I really wanted to channel that today. This look is going to be perfect because because we have Valentine's Day coming up around the corner, you have any special formal events coming up, like maybe you have to attend a wedding, you have a date night coming up, whatever the occasion might be, this look is going to be perfect for you. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a hot ass minute, so I feel like one is definitely been due for my channel. If you are interested in seeing how I got this soft glam drugstore makeup look, then of course, please keep watching. I'm gonna start off with my face makeup because times have changed, you guys. If you've been watching my makeup tutorials since, I wanna say like about a year ago, I used to always start with my brows. I was one of those weirdos who always did brows before anything else. Well, y'all, times have changed. I now do my face makeup like a regular person. I start off with this Wet n Wild Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water and this is gonna be used as my primer. I love how that feels. That feels like so refreshing and it's such a nice little mist. Y'all, this is like four or five dollars. You guys have to pick this up. It's so good. For foundation today, I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. Now, mine is in the shade 60 Sandy Beige. I picked this up on my discounted drugstore makeup video that is already on my channel. So if you haven't seen it, you definitely should. That was actually probably the last time I did something like a tutorial. It wasn't exactly like... A tutorial tutorial but it was like the closest thing to a tutorial that I've done in a while I'm also going to be taking the wet and wild beauty sponge which I have been loving you guys this is such an inexpensive beauty blender dupe and it really is bomb.com guys I've been obsessed with and listening to the Casey crew on Spotify that's a podcast with DJ Envy if you watch the breakfast club then you know Charlemagne the God DJ Envy and Angeli well DJ Envy has his own podcast with his wife, Gia Casey, and um, it's just such a relatable podcast. I make this go on voiceover just because I want to keep listening to it. So they have some really juicy topics and they're talking about sex right now. So a bitch is interested. So I'm going to keep um, patting away my foundation, doing my thing. Yes, I did. Oh. We were in our last house oh. and we were in our bedroom. Oh. All right, guys, so now for concealer, I'm going to move on and use one of my all-time favorites. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. I recently put this one side-by-side -side against the new Hydrating Camel Concealer. So if you haven't seen that video, it is up on my channel right now. But this is definitely one of my favorite concealers. Never mind of the drugstore, like literally of all time. And then I'm also going to take a little bit on my eyelids because I always use concealer as primer. It's just what works for me. It's what always has worked for me. As long as I set it really good with some setting powder, then I will be all right. Just so you guys know, the setting powder that I'm using today is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Still a go-to of mine powder. It's super inexpensive. You can get it for like $5 at like Walmart. It's And I think Target even sells it too. Amazon, like listen, you guys, you can get it anywhere. And it has so much product. I think I've only ever bought maybe two of these because it just lasts so long. Once that is nice and set, I'm gonna go straight for brows and my go-to brow products have been the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Mine is in the shade Ash Brown. And I always use the NYX Control Freak to set it. It takes me at least 10 minutes to do my brows when I wanna do them really nice. So. Bear with me, this is gonna take me a while. I 
and do a little bit of contouring slash bronzing. I've been obsessed with using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. There's something about using a stick foundation that's just so much more forgiving than using just a regular cream contour product that you can get at the drugstore that might not be that great or creamy. I feel like that's probably why I've been loving this foundation as a cream contour just because it's so creamy and because it's meant to be a foundation it just blends so effortlessly and I've just been loving using this. I literally I feel like I'm never going to use this up because I use this so sparingly. Literally look how I'm using it. Just dot it all over the perimeter of my face, my cheeks to kind of sculpt them out and then I just take a brush with a little bit of something wet. Yeah, then I go ahead and I blend it out. What I really like about using a stick foundation or just cream contouring in general is just that I feel like this really does last all day. It just sticks to your face literally like glue and I just feel like it never really fades because it kind of just becomes one with whatever you have going on for foundation. So if you feel like you are really struggling with bronzing and you feel like over time throughout the day it kind of just fades away, really start using some sort of a cream bronzer or even a stick foundation like I'm using today to contour because I promise you it will literally last all day. By the way, do you guys like this braid? It is hella fake, but I have been obsessed. This is probably my second time doing it. I absolutely love it. So if you guys would like a tutorial on how I did this hella fake long braid, then hit a girl up. Let me know that you are interested. Thumbs up this video, comment, do what you gotta do. Let me know that you guys are interested in a little tutu. I'm gonna take a little bit of the excess product here, run it on the sides of my nose for a little bit of a nose contour. I really don't go out of my way to nose contour like that. Anytime I am doing some form of a nose, of a nose contour, I'm just using whatever is left on my brush. But do you guys see how I instantly look like I've been chilling with the sun, you know? My face looks like it has a little bit more vida, a little bit more life. I've been liking to use a little bit on my chin because I'm struggling with this little area right here. I swear all the problems come after you pass 25. I did not have these issues before and now I feel like everything is going wrong. <laughs> I'm getting a double chin now. It's taking a little bit longer to lose weight now. I'm just like, what is going on? I did not sign up for this life. So yeah, newsflash, just stay 25 forever, okay? I'm gonna go in with blush and a little bit of highlight later, but what I'm gonna do now is move on to eye makeup. So I'm gonna be taking the Heart Revolution Chocolate Elixir Eyeshadow Palette. I picked this up a few months ago, like maybe around the fall time, and this is what the palette looks like. It's very, very pretty, a really, really, really nice dupe for maybe the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. The packaging is definitely A1. It has this nice little mirror. It definitely feels nice and sturdy. I know this isn't a drugstore palette, but I still wanted to mention it because iHeart Revolution is actually pretty affordable for the most part. You can pick up these palettes for anywhere from $10 to $15 at the absolute most. You can constantly get deals on them. You can use all of Ulta's coupons on them because you can pick this up at Ulta. I believe this specific palette is exclusive to Ulta. But yeah, you guys, these are pretty reasonably priced and they're pretty good quality. So I'm gonna be going in with this shade right here as a transition. I do want to keep the eyes pretty matte. Now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is definitely a more deeper, richer, kind of like chocolate brown. It pulls a little bit burgundy on camera, but it's definitely more of like a reddish brown. So I'm going to take this and put this on my outer corner. Because it is a little bit richer, it's going to be nice because it is going to deepen up this outer corner a little bit. You guys can see I'm not working it all the way in. I'm just kind of really using circle motions to really blend this in with these transitions that I've used while still keeping it in the outer corner. Going to take a combination of like this creamy off-white type of shade. Also with this one, which has a little bit more shimmer, I'm gonna mix both of them and I'm going to apply this to like the inner corner to the middle section of my eye. I feel like when you are doing a soft glam look, you really do wanna keep it soft essentially and these really nice creamy whites are really gonna do that for you. 
I am pretty happy with the way everything looks at the moment so I'm going to keep the eyes right there and I'm going to move on to eyeliner. Now I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner and I'm literally going to focus this really 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 tightly on my lash line. I'm not going to be doing a wing. I'm not going to be doing anything crazy. By the way you guys if you are struggling with wing liner eyeliner in general and you have not found the perfect product I really really strongly recommend that you guys pick up this eyeliner because it is so so good I mean look how thin it is it's literally tiny and it gives you so much control I'm gonna be using these lashes today I've been obsessed with them it's probably my third time using them Ardell Remy lashes they're really nice really wispy and they provide the right amount of drama without them being over the top you know so now once the lashes are on I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown that I have left over on the brush and just run that on my lower lash line I'm a big fan of really smoking this area out just to make sure that it kind of makes sense with whatever I have going on on the top. Very rarely do I leave this bare down here, so taking a little bit of that brown. Moving on to blush, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Modern Metals palette, and I'm going to be taking a combination of these two shades right here as blushes, and then I'm going to go over top of them with this as a highlight. For highlighter, I'm using this brush, which I'm pretty sure I used at some point on my eyes, but I'm too damn lazy to get up and get a highlighting brush, so this is lazy people problems right here. So for lips, I'm going to be going in with a few products, actually. I'm going to start off with the NYX Lasting Finish 1000 Kisses Lip Pencil in the shade Spice. Alright, now I'm going to hit it with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. Another really good option would be NYX London. That's another one of my favorites. You could leave it here if you are into the matte lip look. I'm not, so I'm going to move on and do a gloss. I'm taking NYX Butter Gloss in the shade of Madeline. And now to seal the deal, I'm taking one of my favorites from the drugstore, the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So that is going to complete my soft, glam, affordable drugstore makeup tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.